Kalian mau tahu kan apa aja sih yang ngebikin kalian bisa lolos audisi? Jen, 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 jen. teman-teman semuanya nah topik hari ini seru banget jadi ya gengs gue dapat kesempatan buat wawancara eksklusif demi kalian nih kan katanya banyak yang nanya tentang audition kan sekarang gue dapat appointment dengan Monica Damon Head Department Classical Singing dari sekolah tercinta koning klik nah jadi kalian jangan lupa ya ikutin tonton sampai habis karena menarik banget. Halo semuanya, selamat datang di Jendela Vokal. Now my name is Daisy and this is Monica Damon. It is really a great honor for us. Um, Monica Damon is a the head department of a classical singing and I saw in your office also for the conducting Yeah, I'm the head of the, the singing department, which is classical singers, but also the singers that are specializing in early music. And I'm the, the head of the choir conducting. I have several questions uh, to ask about the audition. What is the most important quality to study at the conservatoire mm. as a classical singer and, for example, like bachelor? Yeah, what is the quality? The thing is that sometimes the people that want to audition with us, they think that they need to sing very difficult yeah. pieces, for instance. They have to be advanced as a singer already. And to be honest, that is not what we are looking mm. at. What we want to see is that we see somebody who really wants to be a singer, mm -hmm. and a musician of course, mm. but also um, is somebody whose personality interests us. If we see a young person who is really sparkling when talking about music, who really can tell us why he or she wants to, to be a singer, that is very important for us. Yeah. Yeah, and, and for the audition it's important that they let us know at what level they are at mm -hmm. that moment. Mm -hmm. So we always say, we, we also Uh, put it on our website. Sing something you are comfortable with. Yes. It can be very simple. That is no problem at all. Yeah. Because what we want to hear is even if you sing a very simple song that you understand the song. Mm. That you know what you're talking about. Because of course singers always have text. Yeah. And that is a, the combination between the text and the music is so very important. It's one of the reasons by the way why we ask the poem mm -hmm. and why we always say You can you can shoot, choose a poem in your native language. Ah. Yeah, because our experience is if somebody has a poem in the native language, we learn something about the personality of that person. Okay. It's and also about the the possibility of that person, he or she, to inspire us, even if we don't understand it. You know, I have lots of experience. I, I heard poems in several different languages, of course. Mm. And sometimes you even think that you understand the poem, poem without knowing the text, because somebody is so strong in bringing out the, yeah, what the poem, the poem is going to tell us. Mm. And then I heard once, a few years ago, somebody who, who, who had a poem in Polish. No, mm. my Polish is nothing, <laughs> but we all had the feeling that we really understood what he was saying. Mm. And that is that, that thing about a personality, about somebody who can bring over emotions, joy and fear and whatever, and, and the meaning of text. Mm. And, but that is for a bachelor. Yeah. And what about the master? Yeah, the master, of course, in a master you... you expect people to have a certain level yes. in singing mm. and also a professional level already mm. and so it's of course it's not it's almost impossible to do a master without having a bachelor in singing mm. it could be that you have had very very good lessons but even then doing a master here in Holland without having a bachelor is difficult okay. looking at the law also but Officially, you can always do a master 
if you have a bachelor in whatever thing. Okay. But we say no. If you have a bachelor in, I don't know what. In, uh, for example, economy, I had it like in yeah, economy. Economy, yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. instance, then. You of by law you can do a master, but since we have the audition, we mm -hmm. can say okay you have a bachelor, but we can't accept you in a master because your level of your vocal level is not high enough. Okay, but what about there is a, like a special talent? That oh, yeah, then then we say yes. If we, we if we if we see somebody who comes uh, and auditions for, uh, and audition for us and has a very high level of singing. Mm -hmm. Then we can say yes, and of course we ask mm -hmm. uh, what is your uh, knowledge about music theory and things like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But we sometimes have a person like that. Ah. Yeah. So it's we don't say no. Yeah. We always first say, oh, come and audition. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And then we make, yeah, we we decide if we want to have that person. I see. And it could be sometimes that we offer, you know, that exist. That we say come in a in, in a pre master year. Yeah, pre master. I was about yeah. asking yeah. that. Yeah, that is also a possibility. If you think okay, you you have a very high level in singing, but you miss some other things yes. that you need to have when you want to study yeah. a master year, then we can say okay, come in the in the the, the, the pre master year, and then we see if we can offer you the courses. Sometimes mm -hmm. even bachelor courses. Yes. To to fill the gap. Yeah. You have. I I see. So we are quite flexible in that. Yeah. yeah, I because I also see some students uh, immediately go to the third year or fourth yeah. year, um, and then they also uh, can go to the master afterwards. Yeah. So they don't have to go to the first year of bachelor. Yeah, but that depends, of course, because if you come in, for instance, in the third year in the bachelor, mm -hmm. then you have to prove that you have the knowledge. We yeah. learn you in the first and the second year. Yes, yes. But if sometimes you come from all a conservatoire, of course. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like then, me. Like you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so if you you come from all a conservatoire, then we can say okay, we accept you in the third year, for instance. But you have to give our the, us the information about what you did in that conservatoire, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then that information is going to what we call the exam uh, committee. Yes. And then they decide if your level is good enough. To start in the third year, we decide about the vocal level. Yeah. They decide about other courses. Okay. Uh. And so, but if you come from a conservatoire, a good conservatoire, most of the time it's no problem. Sometimes you have to to do some courses because that conservatoire did not offer those yeah. courses, for instance, which we offer in the first and second year. Yeah. But we always try to make that possible. Yeah. I'm very happy actually, like um, this school is very flexible, mm -hmm. for example, like um, if I already reached the level, then I can ask for exemption. For example, there was like some um, some subjects about uh, uh, how to make your own business yeah, and I yeah, also yeah. already got a degree, uh, so I can just um, attend the subject without earning the credits because I could ask for exemption yeah. and that's possible in the study. That's, that's possible, yeah. yeah. We always look at the individual person, so to mm. say, and say, okay, what did you do before you came in here? Yeah. Um, and okay, and uh, no, you know that we talk about it yeah. and say, okay, yeah, yeah, it's nonsense that you follow a course yeah. when you already have a, a grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, your, in your case, in eco economy, for instance. Yeah. Yeah. So that is that, really, that we yeah. that is what we always look at. So every person is very unique. Yeah, every person is unique. Yeah. And every person has his own past. Yeah. And every person has his own personality. Yes. And that also it's that is so important. Uh, you know, we know that yeah, we know yeah, we, we have experience. And mm. you can see and you can feel when you talk with somebody, oh this is somebody who knows what he or she wants to do, mm -hmm. uh, knows where to work on, mm -hmm. knows where their gaps in yeah. knowledge are, for yeah. instance. Mm. And that is, we, we don't like the people that say, oh, I want to have a, a diploma, but I don't want to work hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that, you know, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm only one. Sometimes that happens. In my country, some people tell me, it's very important to have a diploma. Mm. Of course, I understand that. But if you yeah. say I, I want to have a diploma, uh, trying to get it in the easy way, yeah, then we think, okay, is this the kind of person we want to have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the answer is no. Yeah, because this school is very selecting 
their students. Their students. Yeah. And, and, and the moment somebody comes in and we think, oh, yeah. you know, there's a lot of, of knowledge lacking, but yeah. we like the person, we like the way mm -hmm. she behaves, we like yeah. the musician that person already is, yes. then we try to help him or her yeah. to make it possible. Guys, biar nggak kepanjangan videonya, kalian bisa tonton lanjutannya di part 2 ya. See you! No, no, there, officially there is no age limit. Okay. But if you are 64... <laughs> Gimana tadi videonya, interviewnya? <laughs> like it, like it.